Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about the virtual distractor. As you can see we have got here the code from the previous lesson. Let's comment the thing so they will not interrupt us and let's change something in the distractors from our classes. So let's send to the output something like I am from the class uh, from the base class, right? Something like that. So it will help us debug something. I am from the subclass, something like that. And here's something like that, and here's something like that. So when the constructor will get invoked, this thing should get invoked, right? So when I create, for example, a doc, right? And then I will just compile that thing and run. The destructor is from uh, is invoked from the subclass and base class, right? Okay, but what will happen when I do something like that equals new doc? As you can see, destructors weren't invoked. It's because we didn't delete, we didn't free that space, right? So we have to use the delete word. Now, as you can see we have got both destructors invoked. So everything is working fine for the subclass and the base class. But there will be a problem in situations like that. When I assign here the address of dog to the pointer that should point to animal. What will happen? As you can see, only the destructor from the base class goes invoked. So if we did something here in that destructor, if we um, had here, for example, a few instructions that would free memory, we would have problems because that memory wouldn't be now free. So how to make this function, well, to this destructor, to be involved? We should create a virtual destructor. So in a class that will be used to uh, inherit for others, right? We should create a virtual destructor. Now, as you can see, we have both uh, destructors uh, invoked. I am from the subclass and I am from the base class. Both destructors get invoked, so everything is working fine. Okay, so please remember that when you create a class like that, you should always create a virtual destructor because later when somebody uses your class he should delete the uh, our uh, the objects that will be created without any problems right they should that way we won't make any errors when we create a virtual destructor we did it that way it would make a big problem, right? We didn't free a memo. Remember about it. Okay, that's all in the lesson. Thank you very much.